the head movement with the 360 movement, that head can rotate to any angle you need to get in to make any cut. And then the clamping, you hold the part in there, hit the button, it clamps everything down, you're ready to go. It, it's quick and easy process to get the machine up and running. And there's a quick changeover once you're done. Guess what, my friends? I am at Spirit Aero Systems today with my buddy, Justin, where there are 37 molding machines in just his department. That is phenomenal to me. And we're gonna talk about FlexiMill and how it supported Spirit Aero Systems and the continued growth. I know you've heard of these guys. Justin is gonna explain how these successes have happened here in Kansas as a world leader. Justin, thank you so much for being a part of MTD, my friend. Yeah, glad to be here. I'm glad that you're here as well. It's an awesome jacket, but I am even more excited to learn about what we're standing in front of right now and then all the other molding machines. So firstly, let's talk about this Flexi Mill. I know you have bunches of them. What's this allowed you to do within Spirit Aero Systems? So with the Flexi Mill installation that was done and the partnership we have with Modig, we were able to design these machines so that they had two different contours so we could run two different types of parts that support the production needs that we have throughout the factory coming off of stretch presses and um, other areas that we are involved in. As we're talking about something like this, I see, I mean, a setup's unlike anything I've seen anywhere else, right? It's phenomenal, it's, it's unique. It's, it allows us to do certain things that maybe we couldn't do previously. Do you by chance have a story of how something was done previously and how supported, Modig supporting you upgraded that process? So some of the old, head styles that you see right behind me right now um, had specific clamps that had to be manually set by hand every time you, move, you went from part to part or even cut to cut with the automatic ped movement and then the automatic clamping that goes in and out through hydraulic systems and air driven. It was really helped um, even the input or the output of production and everything that we're doing to try to make our rate. Yo, so when we're thinking about all the output you're doing, and I look around this massive machine shop, you're putting out parts all over the place of all different sizes. Is this this type of automation cell that really allows you to get to multiple angles? And the reason I bring this up, Justin, is because when I see what parts on there right now, and for those of you who can't see it, it's a U-shaped large piece. When I see something like this, I'm thinking, man, this has to go on multiple different setups on multiple different machines, which is absolutely slowing down the process of how it's going to get manufactured. Are we taking multiple steps and now putting it into one so our cycle times, our lead times, our overall cost is lower? Yes, yes, very much so with these machines. We load it, um, run the program that's set up for that specific part number. It does all the tool changes for all the different drills, in cuts, whatever we need to do, trim and phalanges. And uh, when we come down, we have a, one setup, one part ready to go out the door. And these are aluminum parts, am I correct? Yes, we all we run strictly aluminum in my where I, in my department um, to get these parts out. These are the frames that go through out the 737 fuselage. Approximately, if you know the answer, Justin, how many of this specific product do you make a week, a month, a year, whatever number you might know about it? So, I we send kits out every day with this product. We have this machine that runs for two shifts right now with where we're at at the current rate and then move the next day we're running another kit. So we run about a kit a day right now to make keep up with the rate we have going. And the reason I bring that up, Justin, is for a very significant purpose. And that purpose is if I'm doing all my operations in one setup, as I see machines set up 12, 11, 10, not all the way across this thing, and I'm doing it all in one, and you're putting out X amount of numbers of parts on these two shifts every day, every week, every month, and it used to be done on multiple machines with multiple setups. I can only imagine how quickly the machines paid for themselves once they got up and running. Yeah, getting, getting these machines in were a big time change to the atmosphere, the setup, the, the physical labor that the operators had to do. So this has been a great benefit to the company. As an overall plan for the future, Spirit continues to grow, right? and we have to have service and support when it comes to the partners that we work with. What's the service and support been like with Modig and moving into the future? Are you gonna to continue to expand on these incredible projects? Yeah, so you know, we, we won't we'll look to expand with the Modig product. Um, the service and support we've gotten from them has been outstanding. Um, with them putting the new the Spirit US, or Modig USA downtown, um, we have a direct contact here that's local so we can get all the support and products we need. 
Yeah, we need that. And that facility is amazing, by the way. The grand opening was so much fun. You guys are represented there. Beautiful facility with old brick that they actually can't get rid of because it's considered history, right? Yes, yes. That's very pretty much so. neat. So I'm looking at this machine and I just kind of want to come to a conclusion for the audience here. For people who are going, you know what? I hear Justin's story. Aerospace is magnificent. Spirit is huge. Why would I personally invest in one? What are some of the unique attributes that you've personally seen when it comes to this machine? And so someone watching right now might go, man, I should really look into that machine as well. So one of the things with the way I have this machine set up right now is that I've got that big contour in it that you can see behind us. Um, these machines have the capability to actually go where they're in a straight line. And then you can also have it so that instead of a concave, it's a convex contour. To, to fit a different size type of part the way it's formed or whatever you need. The head movement with the 360 movement, that head can rotate to any angle you need to get in to make any cut, any drill that you need to. Um, and then the clamping, you know, you hold the part in there, hit the button, it clamps everything down, you're ready to go. It, it's quick and easy process to get the machine up and running and there's a quick changeover once you're done. If I looked at this machine first time, I go, man, that looks a little bit scary. I mean, how many stations do I have here? However, when I'm walking around your shop, I see people everywhere. Looks like they're comfortably running these machines with a smile on their face. Would you say they're pretty user-friendly as well? Yeah, definitely user-friendly. Um, you know, we have a training set, set up whenever we bring a new hire in. That you know, We make sure that they're trained and ready, but depending on the skill, I've got guys that can be self-sufficient. And within a couple weeks, coming in with little to no experience on a Modig machine. So the, the, the turnaround to get somebody up to speed is very quick. Running, building a good quality product. That is the testimonial that I love to hear, my friend. Justin, you are off the hook. You are amazing. Thank you for joining me at MTD. Appreciate it. For everyone who's watching right now, this is Spirit Aerosystems. This is my buddy, Justin Pond, an incredible guy, an incredible facility. If you've not seen them, then take a look. The company, the products, the people are what make this thing go, what make this thing turn. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've learned as much as I have today, and I'll see you again next time.